The project came about due to Shin's long-standing interest in understanding the origin and nature of circadian rhythmicity as a fundamental process that governs daily rhythms at all levels of biology, including sleep, behaviour, metabolism, physiology and gene expression. Precise control of this process is critical to life. Aneta has a long-standing interest in the physical principles of life, which brought her to interacting non-autonomous oscillators as characteristics of being. She studies imperfect clocks and what happens when they interact to create what is known as systems far from equilibrium. She and her collaborators created a set of novel algorithms that can time resolve the behaviour of complex systems acting on multiple timescales. The Moda toolbox is available in MATLAB and Python. I was eager to apply mathematical methods to understand what happens after genetically disabling the cellular 24-hour timekeeping mechanism of the circadian clock and after removing environmental timing cues. The data included simultaneous running wheel activity collected every minute from five mice with disabled canonical circadian clocks under constant darkness for 272 days. The wavelet transform revealed four remaining rhythms, a quasi-circadian rhythm spanning 16 to 20 hours and ultrangian rhythms spanning 6 to 9 hours, 3 to 5 hours and 16 to 22 minutes across the five mice. The 20 and 7 hour rhythms had intermittent amplitudes, occurring periodically every 2 to 3 weeks, indicating an infradian rhythm. Harmonic analysis identified the 4-hour and 19-minute rhythms as harmonics of the 7-hour rhythm and the 20 and 7-hour rhythms as fundamental clocks. Coupling analysis demonstrated strong and stable phase coupling from all slower oscillators to the faster 19-minute oscillator and weak and less stable phase coupling in the reverse direction and between the slower rhythms indicating energy transfer between oscillators. This study elucidated the relationship between oscillators in the absence of the canonical circadian clock, which is critical for understanding their functional significance. The methodology was used here for the first time and can readily be applied to other studies of this kind.